Welcome to episode number 15 of Just My One Cent. Look, this episode is being brought to everybody out there by Just My One Cent Tops. That's right. If you want to be a part of this movement, don't be late to it. Let's get to it. Just My One Cent Tops. The link is below if you want to be a part of this movement. Listen, I got to talk about those wicked folks out there that are attracted, that target, prey on married women and married men. Listen, that person that's married, that turns you on, that you you hunting down. Listen, that person ain't even what you're really looking at. Let me explain. What you're looking at is a person that was also built up from that significant other. So when you're looking at a woman that's married, fellas, you're looking at a woman that was also built by her husband. So when you're looking at her, you are looking at her husband as well. Not saying her husband practically raised her, but he impact her train of thought and her movement and probably even the way she looks in a lot of cases. Her husband invested in her, vice versa. You women out there, you got this thing for this married guy, you don't even realize that status you see him on, how he's well kept, his wife could have picked him up from the dirt, put clothes on his back, helped him get that job, connected him with that barber, paid for his haircuts, paid for him to go to school. So listen, when you're looking at that man, you're looking at his wife. You're looking at his wife's investment. You're looking at all her time she put in to help him become the better version of himself. Now, lastly, you people who think this is normal, this is okay, or, you know, just because they married, they ain't really happy, though. Stop it. You're trying to get in the way of the growth of people's happiness, which could take years, which could take decades. Why? Because you don't want to build your own? Because you don't believe in yourself enough. You can't build your own. You don't think you're smart enough. You don't think you're pretty enough. You don't think you're trustworthy enough to where somebody will commit to you and you can commit to them and build your own team, build your own legacy. Oh, I forgot. You think that guy you see, that package that had all these investments that made him attractive to you, you think that's how it happens. You think the perfect packet man or the perfect packet woman falls in your lap. Negative. So listen. All you folks out there 
that really take on this approach and like to justify this approach. You're doing a disservice out here. And not only to these couples, to these families. You're doing it to yourself. 